It falls to me today to, to thank a lot of different people, um, starting, of course, with all of you, the, the, the DPOs and the, the networks who have come to participate today, and we hope that you will be with us for the, the long haul of this program. And of course, the many international and national NGOs who are also here, and I hope will continue to support the work over the next few years. I should say special thanks to my colleagues in the media who have joined us. The media, obviously, it's great, and thank you very much for, for covering today's event. But part of the work that we will be doing as within this program is very much working with media and working together to try to improve the visibility of people with disabilities inside the mainstream media and make sure that issues that are relevant are covered, but also making sure that people with disabilities are featured in news and features that have nothing to do with disability. And that's a, a big thing that we'll be working on together. So I hope that my colleagues in media will be working with us over the next few years to do that. There is a team within the country consortium organizations who've been working very hard both to get this event together, but also in the design of the program. And so to all of them, there's too many of them, but particularly the design team within the country consortium, thank you so much for your work and for making today such a success. Of course, the UK Department for International Development, who are funding the program, we thank you very much for your support. I think the UK Aid Connect scheme, which this is part of, is a, a new adventure for DFID, but I think the focus on collaborative working, and that's come out quite a lot today, is, is very important and is a key tenant of UK Aid Connect, as well as looking at a program that can be adaptive, can innovate, and can learn and generate evidence. And, and I think it's a very strong way of, of programming and development funding. Um, so thank you very much to DFID for, for having the faith in us to do it. And then so finally to our panel, to Shafiq and to Arif, it's been a pleasure to work with both of you up to now and we will continue to enjoy that. Thank you so much also for your leadership within the international NGO sector in Bangladesh. We, we value both of your inputs very, very highly as a, as a relative newcomer to the country. So thank you so much. Jimmy and Doug. Welcome, nice to have you, nice to meet you. I've emailed you many, many times, but we've never met before. Um, and, and Doug in particular has done so much work back in London to get this program up and running and, and designed. So thank you both, and thank you for coming such a long way to join us today. We really appreciate it, thanks. Um, to Monsoir Ahmed Chaudhry and to Dorothy Sharma, I was really struck by what both of you said around the importance of the enabling environment. And I think as we work on visibility and also just the attitudes of the public at large, I think that will be something where we would draw on your advice further. So thank you for those words today. And of course to our honourable chief guest, the Minister for Social Welfare, Mr. Nuruzaman Amin, I'm very sorry. I, I reiterate what, what Mr. Innes just said about, it, it, it's very heartening to hear about the government's commitment to this issue. And, and we look forward to working with you very closely through the program. So thank you very much for coming today. To all of you, Shabakay Donovat, thank you for coming. And I think now we're going to have some lunch together.